scout at here. Um, just wanted to show you something real quick. All three bunnies now have their Kate, their nesting box, and they're working on them. Uh, I guess that's a good thing. Well, something is not right here because that one is supposed to be over here. She's already got that one ready, and this one already had that one ready, but apparently that one didn't like the way that one had that one ready. So she's changing it, which is odd because she has become very protective of her little four square feet here and has ran all the other rabbits out of it, and I'm surprised she's letting that one in there. I'm going to have to change that and fix that today, actually. And there's Blackberry. She's telling you, hey, I want to be on video, so here she is. Well, today's video is going to be a little different than usual. Um, now, granted, this is not as good or as extensive as a lot of people's, but it's mine and it's what I have. I've been noticing a lot of people putting books and stuff on YouTube, doing their prepper library or their homestead library. So I figured, you know what? Let me do, to, do it too, because I want to be part of the bandwagon. Yay! Okay, being part of the bandwagon, posting my books that I have, which some of them have sat on the shelf so long they are nasty because I haven't needed to read them yet. But anyhow, a lot of these books I have found in Goodwill, Miracle Hill, places like that. So let's start with our major prep. What is our major prep? Our major prep is food. Okay, so we're going to start with this one here. Okay. The Encyclopedia of Cookery, Volume 6. Unfortunately, that's the only volume I think I have. But what it is, is it tells you about what things are. Lasagna, you know? Hamburger corn skillet dinner. It, it tells you what it is, how to make it, where it came from, and all that good stuff. How it originated. Alright, then we have Favorite Ways with Chicken by Better Homes and Gardens. Turkey, Duck, and Game Birds. It's just a cookbook. Okay. Again, here's fondue. I'm assuming my wife picked this one up because I would not get fondue. But anyhow, fondue, better homes and gardens again. And third, good food on a budget. Again, better homes and gardens. Uh, we picked these up at Miracle Hill, uh, which is a like a Goodwill type store. And I think they were right at 25 cents a book. Now we have one, two, three, four cookbooks we paid a dollar for. All right. We also found this one. This one was, I think, free. But it's a slow cooker magazine, you know, for crock pots and such. Again, we're still on food now. We got this out of Walmart, which everybody who has the canner from Walmart probably has the ball blue book guide to preserving, which we have got a lot of good recipes out of this. Um, let's see here. What else have I got for cooking? Oh, this one here I picked up for, I think it was a dime at Goodwill. Southern Living's Outdoor Cookbook. How to cook on grill, open fire, all that good stuff. Love this book. I have used this book, I don't know how many times so far. Okay. Um, a lot of our books, like I say, you know, Goodwill we paid next to nothing for. Anyway, this is a so easy to can book. And, yeah, it, it teaches you how to can. I mean, it's got diagrams and pictures and how long to cam and what type of can and all that kind of stuff you need to use. Very old school book. Um, as you can tell, <laughs> see, here's a part of that book. Or no, 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 I'm sorry. This is making syrups. It's a little pamphlet. Uh, making syrups by using your can, canning. Um, here's pickles and relishes. I mean, these are just little pamphlets and stuff that we find. Uh home canning of meat and poultry uh home canning of fruits and vegetables all this was part of that book if i'm not mistaken it fell apart um let me see here uh now we're surrounded by a lot of lakes in this area and the biggest fish you can and a lot of rivers as well so there's a lot of catfishing going on in our area um like 10 minutes from my house is saluda lake and they have, during the summer months, they have huge catfishing tournaments. So, you know, I found this. How you can be successful at catfishing. Look at those big old things. You, can't, you just can't beat this. You know, that was, I think, a nickel at the flea market. 
Um, let's see here. What else have I got? Ah, yeah. This is where I learned a lot of stuff about goats and uh, and how to raise goats because it's small livestock. It's not big stuff. It also has some good in interesting reading for chickens and rabbits and uh, hogs, turkeys, guinea fowl, ducks, pigeons. But I learned a lot of information with uh, the ducks and the chickens out of this book. Uh, let's see here. This one, I'm actually still reading. It's Raising Rabbits. I uh, can't remember where we got this one from. I want to say it was another Goodwill find. I'm not positive. Um, but yeah. Learning how to raise rabbits on that. And very, very interesting. Good read. It's by Ann Cannibal. Um, this one here is uh, Raising Poultry the Modern Way. Which is, I kind of find funny because this book was wrote way, way long ago. Let's see here. Um, yeah, this book was trying to find a date. I know it was like back in the 70s, but it says the modern way. Uh, let's see here. Um, again, another chicken book is The Family Poultry Flock that we've been reading, or I've been reading. It's a good book, good read. Um... Let's see here. This one I've enjoyed the heck out of. The Handbook of Homemade Power. Wind, solar, water. What was that? <laughs> She's not happy. Okay. But anyway, yeah, this is a wonderful book to read. Homemade Power. All right. Now, again, it's an older book, so it wouldn't have stuff like... Um, the portable alternator power box type thing that uh, Southern Preppers uh, showed us, which I am currently trying to build. Uh, as soon as I get it done, I will show you mine and review it. Again, another book on canning. Um, now, like I've been telling everybody, I'm not really a prepper. I'm not a homesteader. I'm a prep setter. Uh, here's one on freezing foods. Good, good book. I mean, a lot of these have been torn all to heck and back. That's just a catalog for Honeyville, which is mostly TVP. Um, the 20 Basics of Self-Sufficiency. Again, another wonderful book. Old book, but the basics of then are pretty much the basics of now. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, the five acres and independence. How to, you know, basically have a five-acre homestead. A wonderful book. This is my minimum. Uh, Y'all heard us talk about finding a new place to live. Where we're at now, we have a little bit over half an acre. Uh, I want a minimum of five. And mostly because I plan on using the what I learned out of this book. But also, there's this one as well, Living on a Few Acres. Again, farming, homesteading book. It's a great book. Um, this one here. I mean, okay, the biggest reason I'm not telling you what's in this book is... It tells you in the title, okay? So don't expect me to sit here and go, oh, this has a recipe on how to freeze onions or how to freeze T-bones or the directions on how to freeze um, gourds. You know, I'm not going to do that. It tells you in the title. If you can't figure it out, I'm sorry. You just have to, I don't know. I, I don't know. Buy the book. Find it. Look it, on, look it up on Amazon. Anyway, it's like this book here. What's the title say? Root cellaring. What's it telling me how to do? It's telling me how to root cellar. You know, uh, the simple, no processing way to store fruits and vegetables. Wonderful book. Is it helping me at this moment? No. Why? Because I don't have a root cellar. Maybe I should rent like a big track hoe and dig me a hole and make a root cellar. Uh, that's the beginning. But anyway, at least I know how. Have I been able to do it yet? No. Do I truly know how? No. Why? Because I haven't done it yet. And I'm a firm believer that if you haven't done it, then you don't know how. I don't care how many books you read. It's like, okay, I have a four-wheel drive truck or blazer. Do I know how to drive in the in deep mud or in the cross rivers? No, I do not because I've not done it. But I do have four-wheel drive. Do I know how to drive in snow and ice? Yes, I do. This one here I'm still working on. It's basically a keep them growing books about gardening. 
and but the thing is this one here mostly works on trees shrubs and flowers so it's not really that much on tomatoes or gardening than it is like the stuff in your yard like decorative but i figure plants are plants and it works the same way maybe there's something to do here and there um i picked this up for i think it was 25 cents at goodwill it's the third edition of emergency care it's uh basically a paramedics handbook um i've been reading it kind of hard to practice those tells you how to build a a good first aid kit which is basically the same one paramedics use CPR, um, which by the way, if you are CPR certified, they changed the way CPR is done this year, so you might want to look into getting getting recertified for the following year. Uh, again, paramedics cutting into cars. This is a great, great book. Okay, um, I'm trying to save those for last because those are like super cool to me. Uh, from Reader's Digest, I found this at Goodwill again. Fix it yourself man uh, manual. Pretty much how to repair, clean, maintain anything and everything around your home. Doesn't say anything about a car though. Or a, but anyhow, it, it's again another great find. Um, we'll do that one in a moment. This one here, as you can see, is old, but Home Improvement One Two Three put out by Home Depot. How to, I mean, you can take this book and basically build a house. Okay? The same thing with this one here. This is the one from uh, Reader's Digest, you know, Home Improvement Manual. Do it yourself guide to remodeling, modernizing, and adding space to your home. You can build a house with these two books right here and have it up to code as well. Um, now, you all know I'm a fat man and. But you don't know that in my younger years, I was big into martial arts. Um, I do have a little bit of sword play training and stuff like that. And now that I'm a fat man, I'm trying to get a good workout and good exercise. So what I'm doing is this. The Samurai Sword Workout. And believe me, my arms, shoulders, and legs are sore from doing this workout. Uh, but it basically takes techniques or sword practice and sword play and puts it into a workout and now I use a wooden sword it's called a boken for my practice and stuff like this in my workout but this is great um, my wife is even getting ready to start doing this one as well just for the workouting um, now I don't have that many survival guides on my phone which I'm using to make the video by the way I do have the EAS survival guide I do have the army handbook of survival and several things but if grid goes down, lose power, I don't have access to my phone. Well, I do, but that's not the point. So I went to Books A Million, and I got this book here. This book, honestly, is one of the best. I sat there and read, you know, little sections of each survival book they had. This was the best one I found that they had there. Real easy to read. It's got pictures to, explaining how to track, how to, you know, make snowshoes. You know, uh, how to build shelters. And that's a forest lean to, by the way. Um, it tells you diagrams for security of your camping area. How to, like, put your camp here, your fire here. You build a wall out of leaves and stuff here to direct the heat back into your tent. Then you have, like, a fire here that you use for light the whole area around your area, the around your camp. It, you just got to get the book. It's an awesome, awesome book. I love the way this thing is done. Okay, and now, on to my favorite prepping books, because it tells a story, and it teaches at the same time. Book number one, Prepper's Road March by Ron Foster. Awesome, awesome book. I'm still rereading this one. I'm reading it for the second time with a highlighter. Bug out, preppers on the move. Again, tells the story and teaches at the same time. Nobody asked you, go away. Good book. Again, I'm rereading it for the second time with a highlighter. The third book in the series, in the light or the light in the lake. Awesome, awesome book. The turkey thing. Um, at the end of the book, they, he tells you how to cook a turkey using metal trash cans. We actually got metal trash cans and cooked the turkey. Awesome. Love it. Good book. Okay. Now, 
the next book in the series that I have is the compendium this is pretty much the part five six four five and six of one two and three down here you know it's uh, and as you can see like I said I'm highlighting the stuff that you learn from you know and this um, I live in the south so this was great in the south humidity is high and why well, am I trying to read through the phone okay here we go in the south humidity is high and to tie rags on the shoes and walk across a grassy field collecting water in the morning from the dew awesome awesome idea never would have thought of that okay so we're going to move on to the next book that I have that I have not read yet solitary man Ron Foster again yeah um, another book that I have not read yet which is part two of this solitary man in defense of preppers and then I haven't read that one haven't read this one yet either as you can see still nice and white crisp no folds I haven't read it yet I'm going to it's just things are crazy right now the solitary man's post apocalyptic grid awesome book now this one I think I've read about two pages three pages of it and noticed a couple of names that looked familiar so I put it down and I'm waiting to read this the read these before I read this one arc storm Ron Foster man, this guy is super nice uh, he has um, I'm not sure exactly but I know he has a like, emergency management background um, I know he has military background the man knows what he's talking about he knows ways to do stuff and he puts it in his books he puts them in a story format so that you can relate to the characters and put yourself in their shoes and saying, oh, that's not a bad idea. I, mean, I wonder if we'd try this. So he actually makes you think for yourself by the way he words things as well as telling you how to do it. So it's it's really awesome, um, his reads. Now, there is another book that I have that is my number one priority book for prepping. I can't suggest anything else but it's the King James Version of the Holy Bible and I don't have that out here because that's on my, on my nightstand and then that's where it stays uh, but I do actually have another book here that was given to me by my mother um, and my son actually spilled all kinds of stuff on it my father actually chose this book and as most of you have known from my Facebook page and a few of my other videos my father's no longer with me but he actually picked this book out for himself and he read it cover to cover I need to clean it up a little bit from where my son spilt stuff on it because that's just bad but anyhow this is a uh, God's little devotional book for dads there we go God's little devotional book for dads this book has actually taught me patience for my kids it has taught me a lot of stuff about being a dad in the eyes of God and what it's all about and better ways to be a dad uh, notice I'm saying a dad not a father in my eyes a father is anybody who can you know squirt and just not care a dad is someone special it takes someone special to be a dad but anyway um, except for my holy bible that's my library for prepping or homesteading however you want to call it um, I am looking for new books I'm always looking for new books uh, one of the things that I am doing is taking websites that I find uh, that has like an article on canning or an article on how to store your food or rotate your food or how to build something to help you rotate your food and I'm printing these articles out and I'm actually laminating the articles because I used to run my own business. I have all this equipment. And I'm hole punching and putting these articles in a binder. And, uh, oh yeah, speaking of that binder. Um, Southern Prepper 1 mentioned a book put out by the Mormons on uh, prepping and and storing food. And it's like basically the one, two, threes. I'll have to find that link. And as soon as I do, I'll post it for that video. But and also uh, where you can get this book, 
I have the virtual copy of it. I do not have it printed out because it's such a huge book. And to print out each and every page of this would literally take so much ink and so much paper, it would be cheaper just to go out and buy the damn book. Anyhow, that's it for now. We're at 20 minutes. I did not mean for this to be this long. Uh, I apologize for the length of the video. Um, but again, from my homestead to yours, wait a minute. Somebody else says that. I can't say that. So let's see here. Something that I've always said. Ah, I know. Love you. Mean it.